Hello and welcome back. In this part of the tutorial, we're going to make use of this read countries method here and read and display the various countries in a table. And we're going to be doing that in this list component. So I'll open that up and start by importing here the service class. This should be from, we need to go here two levels up into the shared folder and here we import this country.save it and next I'll also just go ahead and import the country class here so import country from again we need to go two levels up and import country So all the countries written from the back end will be stored in an array of countries. I'll just go ahead and create that array here. So private, I'll call it countries of type array of country. And then to make use of the service, we need to inject it here as a dependency. So private country service. Of type country service. Then I'll create a method here called read countries. And in this method here, I'll call the read countries uh, method from the service class and subscribe to the post method we created inside that method. So this dot country service dot read countries then we subscribe here so the first thing we get is the data which will be a JSON object containing the various countries so I'll just call it here data and I'll just go ahead and lock it to the console for the time being and the next thing we get is the error should in case there is any and here as well I'll just go ahead and lock that to the console then I'll call this method here So that when we navigate to this route, this method will be automatically called. So we can then just go ahead and test this and see what happens. By the way, before testing it, you need to make sure that you have your MongoDB running and you also have the backend application running. So I'll go back to the console here and type ngsev. So that is done. I'll open up the browser and navigate to localhost 4200. Then I'll open up the console. And as you can see, we have this access control allow origin error. So this is a security error which occurred because we are doing a cross-origin HTTP request. By that I mean we are running on localhost 4200 and we are trying to access resources on localhost 8080. So by default browsers will prevent that from happening. In order to access the resources on localhost 8080, we need to configure localhost 8080 to give permission to this domain to access its resources. And we are going to do that with the help of course what is commonly referred to as cross-origin resource sharing, which is a mechanism that will enable us to configure headers and set the permissions there. So that we are going to be doing on the server side. Now on the server side, we can go ahead and do the configuration by hand, but there is already a middleware that does that for us. I'll just stop my server here and install that middleware. So npm install it is called course and save it to the package.json file 
So that is done. I'll open up this index.js file, which is the entry point to our backend application. Here, I'll require the calls we just installed. So require calls. Then I'll use it at a very basic level. Maybe you can look into this and see what else you can do with this middleware. So right here, I'll type up dot use calls. I'll save that and restart the saver. So node index. The saver is running. I'll refresh the client application again. So back in the browser, I'll refresh the browser, then I'll open up the console. And as you can see, we got an empty array from the backend. This is because we have no countries in the database. So what I did is I open up Postman and use it to add some few countries in the database. So like here, I have the nation of Tunisia the capital of Tunis. I'll save that and as you see that was created. So if I refresh the client application and open up the console you see we have here the following countries in the MongoDB database. So next let's go ahead and display these countries on a table. So I'll just minimize this and close Postman as well. Yeah, and back in this function here, I'll then assign all the countries we got from the back end to this country's variable here. So this that countries should be equal to data. And we place that array in an object called MSG. We're going to look through this array in a table and display the various countries and capitals. So I'll open up this um, HTML file here and get rid of this. Then I'll create a table inside a card. So I'll start by creating the card here. Then I'll add the card body. And here I'll add an H4 tag with a class of cut title and I'll just call this countries and capitals. Then I'll create a table. So table this table have a class of table table hover so add a t head and then next i'll add a tr and i'll add inside here the following headers i'll call this id And another one here called name and the last one here should be capital then next i'll create the t body and here i'll add a tr so inside here i'll create a loop and loop through the array of countries so ng4 let country of countries then I'll add here the following TDs. So TD. And here we'll display the ID of the country. So country dot ID. TD. This should be the country dot name. And finally TD.
country.capita. So I'll save this and refresh the browser. So open up the browser. And as you can see, we have the following countries in a nice looking table. Next, I'll add two buttons here for the update and delete operations. So I'll add another TD here and call it operations. Then here, I'll add TD and add here a button. This I'll give it a class of BTN, BTN danger. And I'll call this delete. Then I'll just copy it. And once more, paste it in the same TD. And this should be BTN, BTN. I always love using the class primary here. And this should be edit. And back in the browser, we have the following. By the way, I'll just go ahead and change this to update. So I'll open up my file here and change this to update. So in the next tutorial, we are going to implement this update and delete operations. Or maybe we'll start with update and then we'll do the new operation. And maybe finally we do the delete operation. So until the next tutorial, see you.